Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today we are going to talk about advanced triggering part 5 of a 5 video series, part 5 covering bus triggering. And one of our really cool advanced triggering options is the ability to trigger on various bus conditions. And here I'm using a demo board to perform an I2C bus decode. Our channel 2 probe is on our I2C clock, and our channel 1 probe is on our I2C data. Select source bus, and go to bus setup menu. Using multipurpose A, we can select our bus, which of course is going to be I2C. Select define inputs. We can use multipurpose A to select our clock, which is channel 2, and multipurpose B to select our data, which is channel 1. We can adjust our clock threshold using multipurpose A, and our data threshold using multipurpose B, and as always, we have a list of presets to choose from. And we just want these to be somewhere in the middle so we have clear high and low points. And I'm going to press single acquisition just to get a nice, clear, still shot of the data. We can choose whether or not we want to include read and write in the address, and we can choose the bus label. Select bus display, and we can view our bus or our bus and waveform. And if we zoom in, we can pan around and get a much more detailed look at our data. We can have our data be displayed in hex or binary. We could also select event table and turn it on or off. And if we had a portable hard drive, we could save the file and use it for something like Excel or MATLAB. If we go back to our trigger menu, select trigger on, and you can see we have several options. We are currently triggering on the start of the waveform, but say we were looking for a specific hex value in our data. Select data, select number of bytes, and we could adjust our number of bytes by using multipurpose A. Select data, and we could use multipurpose A to select our digit, and multipurpose B to select our value. So say I'm looking for a specific value, say hex 36. Oh, and before I forget this feature, we could also select addressing mode as 7-bit or 10-bit. But say we're looking for hex 36 in our data, in single acquisition, and as you can see, it triggers right on hex 36, and this wouldn't matter if we did single or run-stop mode. Now say we wanted to look for a value hex 35, and if we single acquisition, we see nothing, because there is no hex 35. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support, or if you'd like to learn more about advanced triggering, please click on one of the links provided.